Okay. Oh, oven mitt. You're being very helpful. Now this is a very old sweater. I was given this sweater in the 1980s for showing a horse at the Dublin Horse Show. And it's so old, it has, it's coming apart at the sleeves. Yes, oven mitt, thank you. And it's coming apart on this sleeve. And this elbow right here, you can see is getting very thin. And this wonderful woman is gonna use some of my yarn, which is a different color, to do the patches here. And what did you say you were gonna do here? I'm gonna take down, um, take down this, this cuff to that point, excuse me. Oven mitt. And re-knit that point. And re-knit it back in. Yeah, it should and be fine. Are you gonna, and you're gonna do? The same thing here. You're gonna take it down and then knit it back up. Yep. So okay, hopefully I'll, there won't, you won't need my wool necessarily for this. Well, or you might. I can't tell because this is kind of thin here. It is very thin. But, um, but I'll do what I can with that. And I, and you know, that's the thing now. Um, what's it called? It's called, uh, visible mending. That's what it's called. Oh, I didn't even know there was a term for yeah, it. Yeah, visible mending. I'll admit, stop being so rude. She's being very good and helping mend my beautiful sweater. Well, that I love the idea that there is even a name for it called visible mending. Visible. Kind of goes along the line of my multi-generational uh, sweater that was given by a friend to my great grandmother who gave it to my grandmother who gave it to my mother and then my mother gave it to me. So it's a four generation sweater that I have. I've got a video I did earlier of it. So, um, so yes, yeah, so visible mending. Well, I look forward to seeing, ow. And what really? might what might happen is I, I might just knit a patch and, and sew it on there. It'll be a square or an oblong, you know, a patch of this. Made out of my Zwartblas. Yep, and, and just sew it on there. You're really, just honestly, ow. If, if he was my cat, he would get his claws clipped on a regular basis. No, well, he, he can't do that because he's has to defend himself from wild cats that are around here. Oh, right. So he can't do that. But anyway, well, that's fantastic. I'm sorry. You have to introduce yourself. Janet Ruggles Power. Lovely Janet. Thank you. And bold oven mitt. And um, yes, so thank you very, very much. And we'll see the results sometime next week. Yep. Excellente. Oven mitt, really. Excuse me. <laughs> I need that. Brilliant. Thank you. You're welcome.